Hi guys, welcome to the workshop again. Today I want to so, uh, show you some new tech that I got this week. So for first, let's start with some tires. So some of you have been asking why don't you use 25mm tires. Well to be honest I think they're <coughs> a bit too wide to be 100% aero with my current zip wheels. Because they are not uh, the widest in the market around 28 mil and if you put these on these 25 mils on then they come up right on the borderline of the 105 percent limit so yeah i don't know if that's optimal still or not but anyway i'm going to try those so my zip 808 rear wheel i've got my trusty victorias in 25 mil same latex tube everything and what I also got, uh, one kind viewer pointed out that these stars should now be even better. So I'm going to try this out. These are Michelin's uh, and their new power competition model. And it looks really good on paper. Again, 25 mils uh, clinchers, 180 TPI tread count. So good high performance race star. In rolling resistance tests, these come up around one watt faster than the Victoria's. They are also 40 grams lighter and they are sold to my local SRAM distributor so I can also get them at a really, really good price. So I decided to try this out for you. I've already mounted a pair on my 454s. And this is how they look. It's basically a completely slick, fully vulcanized clincher tire. Uh, some nice colored graphics in there. Also a wear indicator uh, somewhere. Yeah, they have a wear indicator spot. And they also have this strange kind of latex or yeah, rubber powder on them to protect them from aging while they are in the box. So I installed both of these. They both the 25mm Victoria and the 25mm Michelin. They both come up at 27.2 millimeters, which should be all right still in aerodynamics. If I compare these two tires, yeah, the Michelin is lighter, a bit faster, puncture protection roughly the same, maybe the Victoria is a bit tougher according to bicyclerollingresistance.com and why this has a higher tread count and four different rubber compounds in there so I'm curious to see how they stack up against each other in terms of comfort, durability and grip. So we will never know that until we ride those. Unfortunately today it is extremely, uh, yeah, the weather is just appalling. Rains, cats and dogs, and it's really cold as well. So yeah, I wanted to race on these, but they need a break in because of this rubber layer on there. So we'll see if I can use those, if not, I'm going to change back to the 23 mil courses. On my uh, race, I think I'm going to use the 808 rear with the 454 front, or maybe both 454s. I have to check out the course. I can't really remember that much from last year, but I'll see. I think I can't really go wrong with any of these. Uh, if you look at the cassette that I have on now, on both bikes, yes, these are my SRAM Red 1132s and if you look closely, they are extremely clean and that's because I got myself an ultrasonic cleaner to clean my chains, my cassettes and maybe some other parts in the future as well I'm going to show you that it's quite a basic 2 liter unit but it does the job real well, makes everything extremely clean and also has heating on it 
so you can heat it to around 60 degrees Celsius and then the Vox residue just goes away and dissolves in the fluid. I also need distilled water for that and some cleaning agent so this is a industrial degreaser which I use yeah if you look outside then you can see that it really isn't too nice at all around 8 degrees Celsius so definitely not what you want uh, this close to May but I think it will improve during the weekend and then yeah, well, this was basically my Madone. I've done two quite big chain rings, uh, changes on there. So my chain rings and my saddle, but I've shown you that earlier. In terms of the TT bike, I'm also going to use that in the race on Sunday, but I'll be honest with you, I couldn't think of anything to improve on it. But I have one thing which I think is going to improve uh, my performance anyway because my brand new custom time trial suit has just arrived and I'm going to show you that in a bit more detail yeah so this is my new time trial suit uh, it's basically an open trip suit with some custom graphics on there you can see my logo my shop logo on there in a, but otherwise it just a completely black design so really really simple and apparently this should be one of the fastest uh, time show suits in the world and it's achieved using these uh, clever three players which are well if you look at the front of the suit you can see that the material is really really smooth but on the back side it's kind of a dimple texture and these fabrics are positioned in a way uh, that allows the boundary layer on your body to stay attached which is really like uh, basically what zip do with their rims as well another neat feature is this little uh, transparent cubby hole where you put your race number on in there so you don't have to pin your number on, that should save another couple of watts. According to the manufacturer, this suit saves around 20 watts compared to standard skin suit, so that's, that's quite a huge saving, so I'm really hoping that it will work for me. Uh, Fit-wise, uh, I didn't order a custom size. According to the chart, I was good for the extra small, but I went for the small instead, so I don't cut off my circulation. And this one actually feels spot on. It's a custom like fit, no wrinkles, uh, not too short anywhere, so really, really excellent fit. And also, this fabric is really, or at least it seems to be really breathable and really soft, so that's definitely is going to be very comfortable and it is I have already tried it on also really high quality uh, grippers not too wide but they're really really grippy and they're both on the hands well I mean in the arms and the legs as well so yeah definitely really good product overall I think it has a really good price considering the custom design and then make they make uh, custom skin suits for most pro teams as well so it should be a good upgrade to my time traveling otherwise my kit is going to stay the same yeah so this has been pretty much uh, my week in new bike tech so I, of course I'm going to give you a more detailed rundown of the tires when I do some riding on them but I think according to the specs they should be extremely good I will also show you that I want to do a detailed bike maintenance video and I'm going to explain the uses of the ultrasonic cleaner there and of course later this week I'm going to report from my race as well okay so I think 
that's all for today. Stay tuned for the coming days because there are more videos coming. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.